Hey everybody, thanks so much for joining us at the Be A Friend Project. I'm Brielle, your on-air teen ambassador slash vlogger, and I'm excited to tell you about our next friend mail recipient for June and throughout the summer. Her name is Tony. She's 14 and from Indiana. Tony's stepmom says her daughter's outgoing, goofy, an amazing, strong girl with a beautiful heart. She's the kind of person who finds strength in spreading love, especially when times get tough. The eighth grader loves to write letters and read books. She's a big fan of Superman and Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. Her collection of stuffed animals is pretty impressive at over 200, but it's the live animals on her family's homestead that truly steal her heart. They have goats, chickens, and even foxes. In fact, Tony's favorite pet of all time was Shadow the Fox, who recently passed away. When Tony feels down, she heads outside to lean on her furry and feathered friends. It's a way of finding her peace and joy. Tony also finds support within her close, blended family of her stepmom and seven siblings. When Tony grows up, she wants to become a physical therapist to help people with injuries or disabilities to get back up on their feet and be able to do things for themselves again. A lifelong upstander, Tony always made a point of reaching out to the classmates who she saw were struggling or getting bullied, just to hang out and talk. But in seventh grade, the bully started coming after her just for being a friend. And then it got worse. The bully stopped at nothing to tear her down, spreading lies and rumors, even blaming her looks for why her biological mom wasn't around. The stepmom told a local news reporter that Tony had a biscuit full of mashed potatoes, pickle juice, and spit rubbed in her face. Her daughter has been hit in the ribs hard enough she had to take her to the ER so she couldn't raise her arm, she couldn't breathe. Tony has been stabbed with pencils and metal objects that broke her skin. She's been subjected to cyberbullying and also social exclusion, for instance, no one picking her for games and gym, and past friends telling her they could no longer talk to her. Tony told the news reporter that on a daily basis, people will say stuff or bump me just because I walk past them. It's been relentless. And despite the stepmom reporting it to the school and the police, the response has been dismissive. Tony's love for school and her mental health has suffered. And now she's considering school alternatives. Ambassadors, we know bullying is never just kids being kids. No one deserves to be bullied ever. Join us in sending peer support to show Tony she is not alone in this fight and help her get back on her feet just like she does for others. The due date for Tony's friend mail comes in two stages, designed to make sure she receives a lot of support. School ambassadors, please try to send support for Tony before breaking for this summer. Friend mail arriving June 30th will be Tony's first delivery in July. Through the summer, we will count on campers, clubs, agencies, and everyday kids to send support for Tony, due by the end of August. All Be A Friend Project mail must be sent to P.O. Box 30, Beacon, New York, 12508. We're also accepting short video clips of support. Ambassadors, together, we got this. Thank you so much for watching, and this is your on-air team ambassador signing out.